Is it possible to improve cheap whiskey? Stay tuned and let's find out. Welcome back to Barrels and Bark. I'm Zach. Thank you so much for tuning in. So glad that you're joining us in this episode. If you like what we're doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would help us out tremendously. Today's episode is all about finding a way to improve cheap whiskey. Now, we're gonna do a little experiment here and we're gonna try a couple different things to see if we can improve upon cheaper whiskey and make it better. What we have here today is we have Evan Williams, their baseline, I think this is like $15. Again, I'm not saying that this is bad whiskey. I'm just saying this is a cheaper whiskey, bottom shelf. And what we're gonna do is I purchased some black tea, uh, Earl Grey black tea, and then again, one of these oak spirals that you've probably seen online before or seen other people talk about these. You're supposed to drop this into the bottle and it's supposed to help improve some of the flavor. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna to try to implement and infuse some tea along with some oak to see if this bottle can be improved upon. Good old bourbon. We're gonna do a little test sample here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into a large mason jar. And then I'm gonna take one bag of Earl Grey black tea. Now, if you're familiar with black tea, it has a nice, uh, I think peppery, um, vanilla-ish, some caramel spice in there, and we're gonna drop this in there. Now, we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and see what the taste, if it's changed at all, how much has been infused. I don't wanna go too long where the tea takes over, but just gives you a nice little infusion flavor of that black tea. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. All right, it's been 10 minutes. I've been stirring this uh, periodically just to kinda keep it moving. We're gonna remove the tea bag. Give it one more stir here. Then we're gonna take a little dropper here and test out a little. Okay. Right off the bat, you can start to smell that, that tea. So the original one here out of the original bottle here has that great Evan Williams smell, that traditional bourbon. It's not super strong, it's fairly light, but you get a little bit of oak, a lot of vanilla. And then when you try out the new one that's been 10 minutes with the black tea, definitely mellows it out a little bit and you get a lot more of that herbal, I'd almost say vanilla tea, vanilla uh, spice to it. It's interesting. It almost adds like a rye smell or it has almost that kind of spearminty. Uh, all right, let's sample the original. I mean, it's, you know, they're based 86 proof, so it's fairly light, thin. Uh, you get vanilla, you get some of that charcoal-ish, you get some of that oak, a um, little harshness of it, it's not super smooth. You know, it kind of has a little bumpiness where it's like sweet, bitter. Okay, let's try the one with the tea. Wow. Definitely 10 minutes of that tea bag infused a different, I don't know if I'd say it's better. It's definitely different. It's unique. It definitely has a, a different level where it takes you. Man, it almost turns it into a rye flavor. It has a lot of those kind of uh, bitey, uh, spearminty, minty, uh, black pepper uh, spice to it that you didn't have on the original one. So it almost takes out the sweetness. I'll say that it, it, it takes out the initial kind of bourbon sweetness and it almost just kind of mellows it out a little bit with a little bit of pepper. And then it hits your mid palate. You get more of that bourbon flavor and then you get the spice that really finishes on this. It's kind of a, 
it's it's a weird turn if that makes sense. It's like the initial sip of it is not the greatest. It kind of like confuses your palate because it's almost like water where there's no flavor, and then quickly turns to that got kind of spicy herbal you know, bitiness on your tongue like a rye. It really kind of accentuates that kind of spice in this. So ten minutes worth definitely changed the flavor profile. So there you have it. We have black tea that we've taken and infused for 10 minutes into this bottle of Evan Williams 86 proof, uh, typical bottom shelf, uh, staple, great mixer. I wouldn't say it's a great sipper. It's fairly kind of, you know, monotone, plain, but there's a lot better bottles. But for 15 bucks, we 10 minutes with the black tea bag in there. It gave it a unique herbalness, rye, spearminty, black pepper flavor to it. Now, the question is, did it improve it? I think it improved it, it made it more unique. It's a different type of flavor that kind of causes you to think differently about it. Um, again, all up to you on whether or not you think that improves it. We're gonna do a part two here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this back into the bottle with the black tea infusion for 10 minutes into the back of this bottle. And then we're gonna add this barrel-aged oak spiral stick. And we're gonna leave it in there for two weeks. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try it again to see with the tea infusion and with this oak spiral, what flavors has improved upon, what's changed, what has caused uh, the change in this bottle from the original. So stay tuned for part two in two weeks. We'll see you then.